Okay, so now let me introduce limits coming from the left and limits coming from the right and their importance. And what better way is there to teach a concept than to dive into excellent examples and a massive list of questions? There's no better way. Okay, so let me just get started here. Let's say I have something like this. The limit as x approaches c, this little plus here, means from the right of f of x. So we're not going to care about what's coming from the left. We're only going to look, so let's say here already, limit as x approaches negative 5 from the right of f of x, considering, of course, that these, all these lines, uh, well, it's, a, it's basically just one function, right? It's just all f of x, but it's just broken as you can see in several pieces and if we're looking for the limit as x approaches negative 5 from the right of f of x this is negative 5 right here and as x approaches negative 5 from the right of negative 5 the value is 2 which is positive 2 for y Okay, now what about the limit from the left? So in this case, I'll just, I'll just write L here, just a value, a constant, right? The limit as x approaches C from the left, so if you see a negative or a little minus sign here on top of the constant, that means that we're looking for the limit as x approaches that constant from the left. I'll call it m, just a, another constant. So again, back to this f of x function. If we're approaching negative 5 from the, from the left of f of x, so that's negative 5 again. So let, let's say that's negative 7, negative 6. As we're approaching negative 5, the limit will be 3. Sorry, negative 3. That's what I meant. Negative 3. And now, let me tell you a very important concept. In order for a limit, not from the left, not from the right, but just the straight limit of f of x to exist, the limit coming from the right and coming from the left, they must be the same. If they're not the same, a limit won't exist. So the limit as x approaches negative 5 of f of x won't exist in this case just because these guys are different mm -hmm. very important okay so now let's move on to d now let's find the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 from the right so this is x equals 3 x equals 2 x equals 1 so as we approach x equals 1 from the right the limit will be just 2. Positive 2 for y. That's it. What if we are approaching x, sorry, x is approaching 1 from the left? Then we're actually going this way. Can you see that? Because we have negative 1, 0. We're approaching 1 from the left. And that's just going to be this guy right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's just equal to 6. So now what is the limit as x approaches 1 of f of x? Well, the limit coming <coughs> sorry, the limit coming from the right and the limit coming from the left are different. They're 2 and 6. So this will also not exist. Great. Okay, how about g? What about the limit as x approaches 8 from the right? of f of x. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so we're we're approaching 8 from the right. Right here we have negative 4. So as we approach 8 from the right, we have negative 4. 
Now, what if we're approaching 8 from the left? What would that limit be? Now we're coming this way. If we're approaching 8 from the left, we're going from 6, 7, closer to 8. So right here, that's going to be equal to negative 4 also. Because it com the function converges to this point right here, even though f of 8 doesn't exist. So then, does the limit as x approaches 8 of f of x exist? Yes, yes it does. Why? Because these two are the same. The limits coming from the right and coming from the left are the same. So this does exist and it's equal to negative 4. That's it. So I hope this made good sense to you. Now I strongly suggest you scroll down, try some questions on your own, and if you don't understand any questions, click on the questions to watch explanation videos. We have quite a few. Good luck.